So this is it. Full time cowboy. Officially on sabbatical. Woohoo! But what is happening, everybody? Uh, welcome to today's video. And today's video is basically just going to be a commentary about what is going to be happening with the channel, what the sabbatical means for you, for me, and kind of the state of things. Um, so to give a little background, obviously, I started the channel about six years ago, uh, kicking things off, covering content from Borderlands 2, Far Cry 3, kind of spun into walkthroughs and let's plays from there. About five years ago, I got my job with the Department of Veterans Affairs. I have been working full time for them since then. Uh, I am a systems engineer. I basically uh, redesign their websites, redesign their mobile apps, uh, redesign the uh, health system they work with. So it's anything that makes the job easier for clinicians and the veterans that interact with those clinicians. Um, in a sense, I'm like a people engineer. Um, but for the last five years, I've been, you know, making the YouTube content, working 40 hours a week full time for the VA and doing streaming. So this basically led to 70, 80 hour weeks. Um, and if I didn't have ADHD, I'm pretty sure I would have just imploded from a mental breakdown by now because it is stressful. Um, but just the way I am and the way my head works, I've always been able to just keep up with all of it. Um, yeah, it's been hard, but. Here we are. Um, I feel like I'm 40, even though I'm only 31. So I guess that's an unintended side effect working that much. But, but um, basically, I got after talking to my boss and him talking to his boss, I got the VA to agree to a sabbatical. Now, a sabbatical is basically just an extended break from work, where when you return, your job is still waiting for you, and that's the exact agreement I have here for the months of October and November. I will be doing full-time content creation. Come December 1st, I will go back to the VA and basically resume my job right where it left off. Um, if I decide that I really like full-time content creation, I'll officially put in a, um, you know, my my uh, intent to my intent to leave in December, and then I would transition to full-time in January. Um, now, there's a couple things that could happen um, I, after talking with my boss. There is a like 20 hours a week flex schedule that I may be able to get them to agree to, which would be awesome because then I would maintain my health benefits. I'd maintain my retirement, all that stuff. Um, that would be ideal um, just because I don't like putting all my eggs into one basket, which is what would happen with only doing full-time at YouTube and streaming. But basically, that's the point of this sabbatical. Um, you know, I've been doing both jobs for five years now, and you know, I have so many friends and peers that are like, oh, you just got to make the plunge, you just got to go full-time. But as far as I'm concerned, 10 years ago, the idea of making money on the internet wasn't even something that would happen. You know, the the, the idea of being an online entertainer and bringing content to people and then making money off just advertisements for that content. It's still an incredibly foreign concept to a lot of people. Um, you know, I try and explain this to to uh, friends of my family, to like any anybody over the age of 40, I try and explain it to, and they look like me like I'm a fucking alien. They're like, what? You make money playing? No, you don't bullshit. They just, they, they don't understand it. It's a foreign concept. Um, and, you know, especially thinking about, I have the wedding coming up in October. For those that don't know, uh, I'm getting married on Halloween. Woohoo! It's going to be pretty awesome. It's going to be a masquerade-themed wedding, so lots of pictures to come. Uh, I'll probably upload a slideshow to the channel just for those that want to see it. Um, it will not be streamed. People keep asking me if I'm going to stream my wedding. No, that's weird. Um, but basically, the purpose... I'm, I'm getting all, all off track. Uh, the purpose of this sabbatical is for the next two months to see if I would like it. Doing full-time YouTube and streaming eight hours a day, Monday through Friday, is that something I would enjoy? Or would playing video games that much without having the more business side of things that I have with the VA actually make me dislike it? Um, and that's what the sabbatical is for. It's basically gonna be two months of me just kind of testing the waters, seeing if I like it, um, seeing how my income fluctuates because of it, um, and basically taking things from there. So now one, another thing I want to address here is obviously where I'm going to be at because I'm basically not getting paid for two months. Uh, and I've already had people express concern. They're like, cowboy, you're crazy. What are you doing? 
Guys, rest assured, like, I'm not just some dumb kid going off on a dream here. I'm 31 years old. I have money saved up. I have enough money saved up for, like, I could, I could basically get by in the next six months um, without working, if I had to, because that's what it means to be an adult, is you, you save money for emergencies. Um, so I'm not going into this half-cocked. I have money set aside. I have time planned. I'm working on partnership deals and a bunch of other stuff to supplement the income in the meantime. Um, so as for support from you guys, more than more than subs on Twitch, more than donations, if you guys want to help me during this time period, I want your engagement. You know, I know I'm not I'm not a big uh, pusher for likes and shit, you know. Fucking smash that like button 8,000 times and I'll give you part two an hour early. But basically, that's what I need. More than anything is engagement. Watch the videos I upload. Um, come to the channel to watch the videos because we all know YouTube doesn't push shit out to email anymore. Fucking servers broke half the time. But watch the content. Engage with the content. If you like what I'm liking... If you like what I'm uploading, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Engagement is engagement, whether it's good or bad. Get something in the comments. If you're talking about video games with friends and a game comes up, drop my name to him. Be like, check out this guy. He's playing through this game and it's fucking hilarious. That is what I need from you guys more than anything. I don't need you buying merchandise. I don't need you give me money. I need your engagement. Um, kind of on that note, other forms of engagement I want to discuss. Um, on YouTube, we have the community tab, which popped up uh, a couple months ago, but I've been using it a lot, actually. Uh, if you just look towards the top of the screen, there's like videos about all that shit. There's a tab that says community. Uh, once a week, usually on Sunday, I'm posting weekly updates, basically discussing what the channel will be covering that week. In addition to that, I'm doing community polls there. Um, the most notable recent example is we did a poll regarding whether I should play as Alexios or Cassandra in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and you guys voted for Alexios with like a 60-40 split. Um, so I already have people that are like, you know, why is he playing Alexios? Well, motherfucker, you should have voted in the poll. Everyone else did. And we had a lot of people. We had something like five, 6,000 people voting in that poll. Um, so if you want to get engaged in the channel, go to the community tab. Um, outside of that, obviously, we have the Discord server up. I have a link to the Discord server in the description of every single video I upload. And that's perpetual. I mean, we have channels in there for general discussion, channels in there for weeb shit and anime, channels in there for just real life advice. If you want, you know, if you're not sure, you have a question about something coming up in life, ask it. Uh, channel for, for getting help in a game if you're stuck on a boss, you know. And it's all other people from the community. So... I like the Discord server a lot. I think there's a lot of fun people in there. Um, I think it's worth checking out. You know, maybe you're just drunk and you want someone to talk to at 2 a.m. There's probably somebody in the Discord server. Um, and then Twitter. If you don't follow my Twitter, obviously you should. Um, not only do I announce anytime I'm going to be streaming, but I also give updates. Um, I'll, I'll talk about videos that are going to be coming up. If videos are going to be late for a reason, I'll discuss it. I also happen to post a lot of pictures of really tasty food that I have no right eating right now because I'm supposed to be on a diet for the wedding. Um, but either way, follow the Twitter, join the Discord server. If you're a Facebook person, we got the Fightin' Cowboy Facebook page up. All three of those is basically just Fightin' Cowboy, like discord.com slash invite fighting cowboy twitter.com slash fighting cowboy facebook.com slash fighting cowboy it's fighting cowboy for everything um so you know if you can't find the link you can google it and i guarantee you're gonna find it because it's not like there's that many clones out there um so moving on to there let's discuss what it's gonna mean for me to be full-time on content creation because that's the main focus of this video uh, so first and foremost, YouTube is going to be getting more episodes. For a while, I've done either one or two episodes per day, uh, depending on kind of the season, if it's slow season, busy season. Uh, the baseline is going to be three. We're going to be doing three episodes per day, Monday through Friday, for AC Odyssey. Um, whenever Red Dead comes out, I'll also work that in. I'll probably do two episodes of Odyssey per day, two episodes of Red Dead per day. If one series is doing better than the other, that one might get more episodes, but I'm not going to be dropping any of these big games. Um, so, you know, if one gets goes up to three episodes per day and the other drops down to one, it's because you guys are engaging more with that title. Uh, on top of that, I'm going to be doing a lot of kind of off the, the, the typical beaten path stuff on weekends. So whether that's a sponsor video like it was with Blade and Soul, or whether it's checking out a new game, like the last Hive Battle Royale game I just played. Um, 
my goal is basically on weekends to bring you guys something that's different from the current Let's Play walkthrough type series I'm doing, um, you know, just to kind of mix things up. Now, as for streaming, that's going to be a little bit trickier, um, and I want to discuss some background with streaming before we jump into it. Um, but basically, the current plan with streaming is going to be doing uh, four hours a day, Monday through Friday, during kind of like the breakfast lunch time on Facebook, and then four hours per night, Monday through Friday, streaming on Twitch. Um, that's the plan for now. It may change if and when it does. I will post another video similar to this discussing more in depth the changes and why. But basically, the rundown is this. Um, so, I've been on Twitch for uh, about four and a half years now, partnered for around four. And Facebook came to the table back in June with a partnership deal. The idea was for me to stream on Facebook 20 hours a week, and they would pay me to stream there 20 hours a week, just a flat rate. Um, so to me, that was a very attractive offer because it offered stability that you don't have with YouTube or Twitch. You know, sub counts can fluctuate, donations can fluctuate, ad revenue can fluctuate. Um, you know, I've, I've seen months like, I mean, for I made basically double in August what I made in September for YouTube just because the way ad rates go, they're, they're all over the place. Um, so as a content creator, to me, that was a very attractive offer. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Facebook. I don't really use Facebook anymore. But if nothing else, I'll tell you that they're resilient. They picked up Oculus about three years ago. I have an Oculus. I barely ever touch it. But they are still pouring money into Oculus. So regardless of your feelings on Facebook and whether you like them as a platform or you think it's a bunch of crap, with them starting a gaming platform, they're going to put more money into it than YouTube and Mixer are putting into theirs. Because when Facebook decides they want to do something, they're going to fucking do it. And they're going to shove so much money in whatever the ass of whatever they're trying to do that they're going to make it work. So I got to give them credit where credit is due. Um, but basically, circling back, they offered me that deal. Being that I was already partnered with Twitch, I went and I discussed with Twitch about also streaming on Facebook. Not so much discuss, but wanted to inform them. Twitch came back and basically said, you can't do that, you're our partner, we own you, you're exclusive to us. Uh, I went through the contract, um, said you need to show me where this is at. Twitch basically said, it's in there, trust us. Um, so I went to my lawyer, um, I also went to uh, the lawyer of my network, Machinima's lawyers, and had both of them go through the contract, both of them read it, both of them came to the same conclusion as me, Twitch is basically blowing smoke up my ass and this is bullshit. So I went back to Twitch and basically told them, you know, no, this is not how it works. As you can see, as per article, blah, blah, blah. In the contract, I'm not exclusive to you. Stop lying to your content creators. And since then, Twitch has never said anything back to me. They're kind of like, fuck, guys, he found us out. Um, but Facebook offered me the deal in June. All this bullshit with Twitch went through all of June and July. So by the time I was finally ready to start with Facebook, which would have been in August, the deal that had originally been offered was no longer on the table. Hence why the Facebook streaming didn't really take off because they weren't offering it anymore. Um, and you know, it's not that that I don't want to stream on Facebook, but it's just that I was already streaming, you know, 20 hours a week on Twitch. If Facebook wanted me on their platform, it meant taking hours away from Twitch. And if I was taking hours away from Twitch, I wanted to take those hours away for some type of guarantee, which is what I've originally been offered. So circling to today, uh, I am back in discussions with Facebook about another potential deal. Uh, it's up in the air whether it will be exclusive or non-exclusive. If it is an exclusive deal, um, they would be paying me once again, similar to how they were going to back in June. However, I would not be streaming on Twitch anymore. Now, as far as I'm concerned, um, I have no lost love for Twitch. I love the community we've built there. Um, you know, it's it's a lot of fun, a lot of discussing. But at the same time, I feel that that community isn't limited to Twitch. You know, the Discord server has grown. I'd say I'm almost every single person that's subbed on Twitch is in the Discord server, and we're all regularly there bullshitting. So if I decide to move from Twitch to Facebook, I really don't feel like I'm abandoning that community anymore. And Twitch as a platform... I don't really feel does enough as its content creators or for its content creators to justify holding it to this this amazing standard that Twitch thinks it's on. Twitch Twitch very much puts itself on a pedestal and looks down on other streaming services and it undoubtedly has the numbers, 
but it also treats its streamers like just expendable pieces of garbage. Um, and, you know, I'm not the only person who feels this way. There's lots you can look into. Uh, basically, if you're not in, like, the top 0.1% of Twitch, you're basically shit to them. Uh, and that's, that's you know, no secret. Um, so, depending on the deal with Facebook, I may take time away from Twitch and stream more on Facebook. But for now, at least, I will be streaming on both platforms. It's a lot to discuss. Um... Trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think there is. So let's let's bring this to a closeout. Um, recap. For the next two months, I will be full-time. More videos on YouTube. More streams. Streams on both Facebook and Twitch for now. If that changes, I will do a video addressing that. Extra videos and content on the weekend. Extra sponsored stuff coming up. Partnership deals coming up. And all kinds of goodies. And what I want from you guys is your engagement. If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down for all I care. Leave comments, get engaged in the videos, follow on social media, and let's see just how crazy this ride can get going full-time for the next two months.